Okay, in this video, see how big my hand is? I'm zoomed in pretty close. And if you notice, I've got the magnet between the poles or uh, electrodes of my 15,000 volt, 30 milliamp neon sign transformer. And if you see, it's right in line with them, right in the middle of the north to the left, south to the right. And I'm gonna show here that when I showed in my previous video about the rotation of magnets, uh, this wheel is back to my the original. This is what the TV screen shows. You know, if you look away, the north is rotating, the magnets rotating clockwise from south to north, and the other way from north to south, it's rotating counterclockwise. I'm back to that because I showed you the possibility that maybe the way the electric current, the TV uh, screen turns, may be opposite than what the actual magnet is rotating. And I said, there's a possibility of that. Maybe it works perfect, really good with the coil. Well, with what Fractal Woman and a uh, associate of hers, and I'll put his name up here. I can't remember his name off offhand, his YouTube channel. What they went through with the rotation of the magnetic field around wires conducting electric current, I think what I found out with this experiment and with the coils is that the magnet is truly possible rotating in what shows, what the TV screen shows, and what this is gonna show in a minute. So I'm gonna say I'm wrong again, or prove myself wrong, or knock that possibility of the magnet rotating opposite what the TV screen shows, and what this is gonna show, that it does indeed rotate that way, but it works different on a coil than one would think. It makes you think the magnet is rotating in the opposite direction. So I'm going to move on now and show you what this arc does to this magnet in just a regular setting. How the south or the positive is coming into the north, and then how the positive or negative comes out the south, and then I'll turn the magnet and show you what that does. Then I'll show you about the rotation, how this does align. Uh, you know, before I did it from the side, but at end for end, it really shows the rotation. So we'll move on. I'll show you the arc working with the magnet and centered in the arc and then I'm going to come back and we'll show you the actual rotating of the current and we'll do that and I have to get this set just right to show you I'm going to leave the light on and show you and I'll do it in the dark like I did the other the previous experiment but remember this is what the tv screen shows you know it's tumble, it's rotating away from us on top and it's hard to hear me when the arc's running so if I look at the magnet from this way, it's gonna look like it's rotating clockwise. From the right over, it's gonna look like it's rotating clockwise. From the left, it's gonna look like it's rotating counterclockwise, okay? So it depends on how you look at it, but the electric current will follow what this wheel is doing. And here we go. I may have to start it up. Just a moment. get it set. If you see that twist, I have to move it just right to get the twist. And it doesn't continue it. See it there. It looks like it's twisting it like the red arrow show on the air on the wheel. I need a high speed camera, but it, trying to get it to do it and stay with that twist. Okay, if you saw that, let me try and darken it up so you can see it a little better. Like I said, I need a high-speed camera. 
to really do this. See if I can get a better angle with that. Keep it spiraling. It's hard to keep it spiraling. It, it comes and goes. And my magnets get real hot and they don't spiral as well. Let me get a fresh magnet. And we'll turn it around to the south. Okay, now I've got the south to the positive post, and I've turned my wheel around, so it should be, you know, twisting it this way towards us in a counterclockwise looking this way or clockwise looking that way. And we'll try this. electrodes a little bit maybe I can make it work a little better on the positive side. And my magnets getting too hot. They don't perform as well when they're that hot. Uh, this is a different magnet. You see the paint's about shot. But it does show a twist in that direction. Like it's binding it up that way, you know. So it's, I'm trying to work out a better way to get the, the arc more visible. I need a high speed camera and a bigger magnet. But hopefully this will lead on to another video here where I'll go back to the coils and show you how this forward motion, well, the motion you're seeing here and the TV screen of the magnet actually rotating that way is what causes the reverse uh, charge motion in the recoil as I've been, which was my dilemma 
and why that happens as it does, at least for 50% of the motions in the coil. There's still two more motions that just don't work out. And I'll get to that later. I want to show a couple more things with this before I quit here. Uh, let me fire it up. It's south to the left. See the twist. So if you notice, when I ground out the, the ground side, the positive side is just noisy and it can't it can't seem to catch in. But the other way, it's quiet. It's quiet. Straight shot, no rotation, it's quiet. It's only when the positive's coming into the magnet do you get <laughs> disturbance. And it twists it. See that? But once it's twisted, by the time it comes out, I guess it's a it's such a spin that it's organized. I don't know. Now, more than that, I'm gonna put the south away from us there on the wheel, so it's rotating that way, which means that the north is trying to pull it down. You think it'd go up, and it does there. Then back here it goes down. It pulls it down. Pulls it back towards it as it goes around, and kind of pulls it up forward as it goes. Now let me turn this again and spin the magnet south towards us. That side it pulls it up because it's going up with the current coming in and that side you now it's going up going up this side with the north it's pulling it up too because it's rotating in the same direction on top on top they're both rotating over the top to the right over the top to the right this way, and turn it around, they're both rotating over the top to the left. And they don't like it, it pulls it down. You see that, pulls it down, pulls it down, if I can keep it down. My magnet's a little turned. And it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. Bring it towards us. Just a minute. Downward. And downward. If I rotate it this way, it'll be more upward. Upward. You see that? Up. On this side, it's up, on top, and on top. I'm going to do it again the other way. My magnet's a little bit. Here we go. Down and down. But it's going against the flow of the current, pushing it down. If you see that. When the current's coming in, it's pushing down. And the other way, turn around, when the current's coming in, it's pushing it up. Can you see that? So this, everything I've just showed you with this magnet, the sphere, shows me that the TV screen is right in the directions it shows on the rotation that the magnet is actually doing. I was wrong on my previous video, but the coils make it look like the magnet's rotating opposite to what we're seeing. And I'm sorry, my magnets look like they've been abused, and they have. Laters.